This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction The United States Navy has nine rates for each type of recruit. They are all assigned a number and a letter, such as E1, E2, E3, and so on. Each of them corresponds to a pay grade, starting from the lowest at E1 and the highest at E9. The first three assignments are called rates as sailors in those grades are considered to be in apprenticeships. Recruits in each pay grade are assigned to different groups, each of which has its identification rate marks, stripes. All the ranks above E4 are considered to be non-commissioned officers and carry specific sleeves. Apprenticeship Ratings E1 to E3 In the three apprenticeship ratings, the names and responsibilities are defined by experience and seniority. Typically, all enlisted personnel start as a recruit and moves ranks gradually, gaining the necessary skills and expertise to execute different commands. Rating E1 through E3 are divided into five groups engaging in various activities in the military, such as seaman, fireman, airman, construction man, and hospital man. The respective grades receive varying identification marks, from no insignia for recruits to three stripes for those listed in E3. Non-commissioned officers, E4 to E6. The title of a non-commissioned officer or NCO first appeared in 1841, but was not formally developed until 1894 with the definition of the uniform and attached insignias. In contrast with the first three ratings, the NCOs have an eagle with spread wings atop a chevron as their mark. Similarly, the number of chevrons increases rank progression. For the most part, NCOs serve as first order supervisors and technical leaders to the grades below. Officer Ranks, CPO The rank of the CPO was established in 1893 and was the highest in the United States Navy and Coast Guard until 1958. The Military Pay Act introduced two new grades for the entirety of the United States Armed Forces. A CPO receives their rank for the time in service, higher evaluation ratings, specialty exams, and peer review responsibility. Becoming a CPO is considered to be the highest achievement in the United States Navy. Only 57 sailors were promoted when the grade was formed in 1893. On average, officers require at least 13 years of active service to join the ranks of CPOs. This comes with unique responsibilities and privileges. Sometimes, chiefs are described as servant leaders as they act as the liaison to commissioned officers and mentor both. The first woman to be promoted to chief was Loretta Walsh in 1917. The unique responsibilities of CPOs in the Navy explain why two minesweeper ships were titled USS Chief. Senior Chief Petty Officer Senior Chief Petty Officers comprise only about 2.5% of all enlisted members of the Navy. They attain this rank after serving at least four years as CPOs and require the Board of Master Chief's approval. In addition to their responsibilities as CPOs, they become liable for assisting and providing guidance to the rank below. The identification marks for those ranked E8 include an inverted star above a spread-winged eagle atop a rating mark crowning three chevrons on the sleeve insignia and the fouled anchor on the cap device. In 2015, the Navy formally created the rating of a command senior chief that is responsible for overseeing the health, job satisfaction, and welfare of the enlisted personnel in the command. Officer Ranks, MCPO Master Chief Petty Officer is the highest rank of the United States Navy. It is given to the technical experts in their fields based on their time in service, performance, and board review evaluations. MCPOs constitute only 1.25% of all enlisted maritime forces. The grade was established in 1958 following the Military Pay Act. All grades have abbreviated names, such as FCCM for Fire Control Man Chief Master, but it is most common to refer to MCPOs as Master Chief. Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy 
The Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy is a special position within the ranks of the United States Armed Forces. It was formed in 1967 as a response to a large volume of complaints from then enlisted sailors. Both in the Navy and the Coast Guard, the enlisted MCPON or MCPOCG is formally regarded as the head of the respective department and oversees personnel-related issues. On top of that, the MCPON is responsible for advising the Chief of Naval Operations and Personnel, as well as representing the Department of the Navy at formal events and in front of Congress. Currently, the position is fulfilled by Russell L. Smith. Did you like this The U.S. Navy Ranks History and Background Sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs.